It's our big story at 10, angry outbursts on the state Senate floor. You're interrupting Darling. a roll call and that will not be tolerated. Sit down. Tensions running high as lawmakers vote 17 to 15 approving a bill that would require pregnant women to look at an ultrasound before they'd be allowed to get an abortion. Tonight, both sides are sounding off. NBC 26's Alex Hagan is live at 10 with more. Stacy, Wisconsin would become the ninth state to pass this kind of bill. Now, the rule would not apply to cases of rape, incest, or emergency, but with a heated debate on the issue, it doesn't seem to be over just yet. Senator Ellis of Nina responds to opposition. All the roles. Objections, protests. Here in Green Bay, mixed reaction. They're infringing on people's personal rights. Be aware that there's a living person inside of them either way. The ultrasound bill passed the Senate requiring the procedure to be done on women who want an abortion. Democrats say their voices were not heard. I see it as extreme, but that word did not get out on the Senate floor this morning. However, Republicans say some women who have had abortions voiced their concerns about not getting an ultrasound. They were not well informed and did not receive good health care at the time of their abortion, and they regret their abortion. The bill also requires admitted privileges within 30 miles of a clinic, which means the grand shoot planned parenthood could be forced to shut down. In the event that there's an emergency during the abortion procedure. But opposition says this may be the sign of things to come. We use Wisconsin as the test case to see if they can begin to outlaw abortion. A bill barely passing in the Senate and a heated debate that most likely won't stop as the bill moves on for further approval. Now lawmakers say they expect the assembly to take up the bill within the next few days, possibly as early as tomorrow. Then Governor Walker says he will sign it into law. Alex Hagan, NBC 26.